Now it's black elements. So in this is black elements. Now discuss some important important compounds of sodium metal some important compounds of sodium metal means the sodium belongs to first a group element it forms different types of compounds like chlorides sulfates are bicarbonates carbonates means sodium carbonate sodium bicarbonate sodium chloride sodium sulfate like that so those sodium metals so that sodium metals are used in nowadays in daily life so in that first one sodium chloride okay sodium chloride so generally sodium chloride is in sea water it is range from 2.7 to 2.9% so the sodium chloride range is 2.7 to 2.9% in sea water generally in india most of the sea water is undergoes vaporization through a vaporization process we have prepared sodium chloride in natural conditions next this sodium chloride the sodium chloride or potassium chloride or aluminum chloride or more so many chlorides are there but this sodium chloride is having some special properties so uses so uses of sodium chloride it is used as a it is commonly called as table salt or common salt table salt or common salt it is used for domestic purpose and second one is by using sodium chloride we can prepare sodium peroxide sodium hydroxide sodium sulfate so these compounds are prepared by using sodium chloride so these are the uses of sodium chloride means the sodium chloride is generally called as table salt or common salt it is used for domestic purpose by using sodium chloride we can prepare peroxides hydroxides sulfates the sodium chloride is prepared in a laboratory by using brine solution so it is generally called as a brine method so that brine solution is called as sodium chloride so this is a first salt and next one is sodium carbonate sodium carbonate this sodium carbonate okay generally used as washing soda sodium carbonate is called as washing soda this washing soda formula is sodium carbonate it containing 10 hydrated means decahydrated sodium carbonate decahydrated is called as washing soda means sodium carbonate is called as washing soda this sodium carbonate is prepared via salve salve method or salve process by using salve process we can prepare sodium carbonate in a laboratory process in salve method the common reactions are are for example here nh3 sir ammonia nh4 is reacted with carbon dioxide plus water molecule forms nh4 taken twice co3 ammonium carbonate is form this ammonium carbonate again passed through a carbon dioxide with water produce ammonium bicarbonate nh4 hco3 this ammonium bicarbonate is mixed with sodium chloride it forms sodium bicarbonate and ammonium chloride sodium bicarbonate and ammonium chloride finally this sodium bicarbonate is heated at higher temperature produce sodium carbonate 
and water. So this is the preparation method of sodium carbonate by using Salve method. In Salve method, these reactions are takes place. Initially, ammonium is reacted with carbon dioxide with water molecule forms ammonium carbonate. This ammonium carbonate again passes through a carbon dioxide in water solution forms ammonium bicarbonate. This ammonium bicarbonate is reacted with a salt. So means sodium chloride is soluble in water. This is having a more solubility in nature. It finally gives sodium bicarbonate. This bicarbonate is heated, gives sodium carbonate. So these are the reactions are takes place in salve process. And next one, next process, this sodium bicarbonate, sodium carbonate, the sodium carbonate is called, is generally called as washing soda. Washing soda is a white crystalline solid. It generally means sodium carbonate decahydrate is called as washing soda. It is prepared from like this, see here. Sodium carbonate, Na2CO3, 10H2O, decahydrate on heating, on heating. It lasts one water molecule produce Na2CO3, H2O. Na2CO3, H2O and remaining are 9H2O. So 9 moles of water is formed. Okay. Now this Na2CO3, H2O Incoming call from Ranji. H2O on again heating it produces Na2CO3 plus H2O. So completely removing of water molecule is takes place. Means the sodium carbonate decahydrated substance undergoes heating by loss of one mole of water molecule it forms sodium carbonate monohydrate substance. This is on heating again gives sodium carbonate. So now this sodium carbonate uses. So what are the uses of sodium carbonate? This sodium carbonate is used as a cleansing agent in cleansing agent in landries. And next, the sodium carbonate is used as used in the preparation of paper, textile industries, etc. The sodium carbonate is used in a laboratory, laboratory as a qualitative and quantitative method. And also it is used in the preparation of borax, glass material, etc. So these are the uses of sodium carbonate. And next one is Sodium bicarbonate. So this sodium bicarbonate is called as baking soda. Its formula is NaHCO3. NaHCO3. So sodium bicarbonate is called as baking soda. So this is prepared by general methods but it is used as a again same preparation of glass materials or paper industry or for paper or textile industry etc. And also it is used as an antiseptic agent. So that is the use of sodium bicarbonate. Next one, sodium hydroxide, NaOH. Sodium hydroxide. This sodium hydroxide, generally called as caustic soda. Its chemical name is caustic soda. This sodium hydroxide is prepared by using Kastner. Kastner-Keller method or process. It is prepared by using Kastner-Keller method. In laboratory, pro, in laboratory method, that is Kastner-Keller method, using this we can prepare sodium hydroxide. 
so in this kastner keller method we use two types of electron electrodes one is anode electrode and one is cathode electrode mercury metal is act as a cathode metal cathode electrode whereas carbon is act as a anode electrode so means the liberation of chlorine gas the chlorine gas is liberated at the anode electrode because chlorine gas is negative charge so means mercury is act as a cathode carbon is act as a anode electrode so that electrolysis process at cathode at cathode sodium so cathode means that is a reduction process so reduction means gain of electrons so it abstracting of electron in presence of mercury in presence of mercury it forms sodium amalgam sodium amalgam is formed so it abstracting of an electron in presence of mercury metal it it converted to sodium amalgam next one at a anode at a anode so anode means gain of electron so loss of electron it is occurs usually at a oxidation reaction oxidation means loss of electrons are takes place so of cl minus is loss of one electron it converted to cl2 plus one electron so these are the reactions are takes place at a anode and cathode in kastner keller, -Keller process or method now next one uses uses of sodium hydroxide so generally sodium hydroxide is used in the preparation of paper textile industries that is our first use second one is refining of petroleum that is our second use so petroleum is undergoes refining process in that case we use sodium hydroxide and next one the purification the purification of fat and oil is takes place in case of sodium hydroxide so these are the uses of sodium hydroxides so so in this topic we covered the importance the importance characteristics in a daily life for sodium metal in that sodium chloride sodium carbonate sodium bicarbonate and sodium hydroxide so major concept is sodium carbonate is called as washing soda washing soda is a chemical name is sodium carbonate decahydrate whereas caustic soda is sodium hydroxide baking soda is called as sodium bicarbonate okay. so this is your first year group elements means in first year group elements up to this up to this we can cover the general properties of s black first year group elements after that physical properties next chemical properties next uses of total metals including some important compounds of sodium metal after that we generally we consider anomalous character of lithium and magnesium so so these are covered in first a group elements now we consider next topic second a group elements second a group elements are beryllium magnesium calcium strontium barium radium these are called as second a group elements the second a group elements are also called as alkaline earth metals so why these are called as alkaline earth metals because second a group elements are produce oxides and hydroxides but whereas first a group elements is called as alkali metals 
because these are formed strong hydroxides in a water. So due to that differential, the first A is called as alkali metal, second A group elements are called as alkaline earth metals. 